All right, you guys. Here we have a <laughs> pink Nike SB box, but this shoe actually came out two years ago, or more like just over a year ago, because this came out at the end of 2018. These are the Black Diamond Supply Dunks. These were supposed to come out with two other colorways, a white and a yellow, but the yellow one was not sold because there were riots for it at Complex Con. So that's a very hard sneaker to get, and it's going for more money than I can afford. So in the white one, I would have gotten that, but it had a translucent bottom that I just really wasn't rocking with all too much. But the black pair, it's amazing, and I'm very glad I got it. Seller did not include the extra laces, so I figured I'm not going to pay some more money for these shoes when I could get the extra laces for 5 or $6 online. So, no extra laces, but it's not that upsetting. The extra laces would have been this Tiffany color, but oh well. I can definitely live without them. And as you guys can see, the swoosh is removable. It is silver. The leather on this, it's not bad leather. This is pretty good leather. It is pretty stiff though, which I'm not going to complain about. That just means it's a bit more of a sturdy shoe, which it'll last longer. Good. I really want to be able to wear this for a long time. I love this. As you guys can see, it has contrasting white stitching all throughout. And it has this kind of alligator or crocodile print on the toe box, on the eyelets, and on the heel here. I really like that, even though you really can't see it that much, but that is nothing compared to the tongue, which is definitely my favorite. As you guys can see on the tag, it has the diamond, and on the inside, it has kind of this quilted pattern, which I really like. I really enjoy that. That's something I really love. And on the back here, under the Nike tab, it says diamond, which... Honestly, if anyone has these and they wear these like this, just to show off that it says diamond, like, don't, this looks stupid. I'm almost sure no one doesn't do that, but who knows? You never know. These, I got an 11 and a half, my true to size, and I haven't gotten to wear them yet, and I probably won't get to wear them for a while because I'm working a lot. Sadly, I'm always working. This isn't, YouTube's not my job, so... I do stuff outside of YouTube so I can get these sneakers, but the moment I get to wear these, I will. They do fit true to size from the two seconds I put them on. They fit pretty well, and I really want to say this, that if you buy true to size, they will ha take like a small period to break in, and I mean a small period. Because with my infrared dunks, they took like two hours, and then they broke in. The right shoe, let me grab that really quick. The right shoe on the infrared dunks, right here where the toe and the toe box and the tongue meet, it was kind of a bit tight here, but after two hours it broke in. And I'm very happy it did. It really does not take long if you're wearing them. I wasn't even doing much in them. I was just watching Birds of Prey with a coworker of mine, and they just broke in. Now at the end of the at the by the end of the movie they broke they were broken in. I'm sorry, I've done this video a couple times now, uh, I've been shooting it for the past like hour, I'm, I'm, I'm done <laughs> after this take, so hopefully this is a good take. Alright, thank you guys for watching this video, please, please, please like, comment, subscribe, any of those would help, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it, and please, please have a wonderful, wonderful day, alright?